I'm Andy Pierce. My wife is Beth Eckerty. Bought the house in 2007 and the neighborhood is Hegwish. So it was a home that had not been heavily remodeled or changed over the years, but also hadn't been restored. So you had layers of carpet, layers of linoleum, all those things that bungalows get over the years. And our goal was to put it back as best as, it, as we could. The project was everything, walls and floors and light fixtures. The previous owners, the family that built it and had lived in it for decades, they had never painted over the wood, but they had also not taped it off. So there was a lot of paint slopped on the nice oak, uh, red oak trim. So my wife got really good at stripping that and replicating the stain and shellac. The kitchen had never been updated. It had never had cabinets, so it was just a sink and a stove and a refrigerator. So we got what cabinets were available during the pandemic and made the best kitchen we could for that space. I think the present trend is that everyone likes to take down wallpaper and we went right into that. Okay, we're gonna take down all this heavy vinyl wallpaper. Well, we found problems underneath, right? Big cracks that had just been maybe hastily filled up and then covered with wallpaper. So I learned how to plaster and open up those cracks and fix them. And my wife really liked the vintage, say 40s, 50s, 60s, something vanity that's in it. So I took it apart, scraped off all the rust, primed and painted it and put it back together. The back stairs, it was one of the grungiest, ugliest places. Mud room, service area that had never been remodeled. So we took up all the layers of linoleum there and found Douglas fir underneath. So it's just it's got a beautiful red tone to it. Now that all nine rooms are done, it's cohesive from front door to back. You know, you really get the sense of a historic Chicago bungalow. It's everything it ever was with a little better kitchen and uh, it just, it all works.